Hey everybody, Siki here, and look who I have at my house today. Tracy from Kiss Y'all. Tracy from Kiss Y'all. <laughs> Tracy from you Kiss Y'all. <laughs> So we are just going to talk about the 10 products that we totally can't live without um, from skincare to hair to makeup. And that's about it. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So um, she's going to go first. Okay. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this is awkward. Okay. All right. I'm going to start with hair first. First, it's my big tooth comb. Um, I am not a fan of finger <laughs> harder than I thought it would be okay I am not a fan of finger detangling I don't know how I'm gonna get through this whole video right here like it's too funny okay I'm not a fan of finger detangling so I have to use my big tooth comb so this is a must for me the next product in my hair category is my eco styler argan oil gel and I love this gel because Basically, my flyaways don't stay down without this gel, no matter what I use. Yeah, that's a favorite of mine, too. So, awesome. And lastly in the hair category is my Tresemme Naturals. If I had no other hair product on earth, I would be happy with this alone. And that's it for my hair products. Okay. <clears throat> I have a detang... <laughs> She's killing me. I have a detangling, too. This is a Dead Man brush. And when I first... First time I used this was earlier on in my hair journey. And... You guys know I'm relaxed and I put this in my hair and it was like breakage, breakage, breakage. My hair was not strong enough for it. And then, so I took it back to Sally's, got another one and now I am in love with it. And it just detangles my hair so good. And I love it too because a lot of people ask me how do I air dry with my hair so straight. A lot of it is because I detangle with this in small sections and it, you know, it stretches my hair. So when it dries, it kind of takes away some of the texture. Can I ask a question? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. When you air dry, do you braid it or you just I let breeze? it well right now because it's winter time and it well, we don't really have like cold winters, but it takes longer to air dry. So I let it air dry. Well, yeah, I let it air dry with a scarf hanging down. Okay. Sorry y'all. I mean I got it here, so <laughs> y'all know y'all want to ask that question. So and then but in the summertime I braid it up because of the dry really quick, so no big deal. Oh, and then the next hair product, I only have two. I know you guys are tired of seeing this. It's the Elasta QP Mango Butter Moisturizer. And if you haven't seen it, it's, it's the business. It's really creamy. Oh, you guys can't smell it. It, it smells great. <clears throat> I love it too. And skincare. I guess since I'm already talking, I'll do skincare. I only have one. And it's a set of fill. I brought the trial size instead of the big one. But um, I love this. It's cleared up my son's acne. And I love it for myself because I have sensitive skin and it doesn't strip my face. It has nothing in it. It's just, it cleans it and I love it. My whole family uses it now. Okay, on to the skincare. And it's not hot in here. Just FYI, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what kind of changes I'm going through. <laughs> she told me not to tell y'all, but she could tell y'all. <laughs> okay, so skincare for me is the bentonite clay. It is um, Aztec Secret Indian <clears throat> Healing Clay, and it looks like that. I just almost drunk your thing. And <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't know what just happened. I'm not going to tell y'all what just happened. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I can't. I need a minute. <laughs> I need a minute. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying. See, and I was in the mode. I was all in there. I was ready. Okay. So this bentonite clay is awesome. It helps with your dark scars. It helps with if, if you have like a breakout or a pimple or something like that. When you use this, it kind of pulls all the um, toxins out of your face. So I love this. I use it once a week. I leave it on for about 30 minutes and I will never get rid of this from my regimen. It's just awesome. So bentonite clay, awesome. The next thing is grapeseed oil. This is, excuse my band-aid too, I cut my finger today. But it is, um, I use this when I take off my makeup. I don't use any makeup remover. I don't use any makeup wipes. I only use this grapeseed oil. And I also put it on my lips. And you can put it in your hair too. So grapeseed oil, 
awesome. But yours is green. Mine is not green. This is the um it, it what did they call it? It's um pressed grapeseed oil. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. It's from Napa Valley and it's just in its purest form and it came out of a dark bottle so it keeps its color too. Oh, cool. So they say the greener it is, the better it is. The more pure it is. So there you go. And lastly in my skin uh area. <laughs> <laughs> okay, la the last of my product for skincare is my Abino Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. This stuff is awesome because I like a cleanser that foams, but I don't like a cleanser that's really harsh and makes my face really dry after I use it. So this is awesome. My face is not dry. It cleans it really well and it foams. So that's it for the skin stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Makeup. Ta da! My face and body foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. It is water based, it's um, waterproof. You can use it on your body. I love putting this on my legs and then spraying it with the Sally Hansen um, uh, bronzers in the summertime. Absolutely gorgeous legs. I love this on my face because I don't sweat it off and there's no SPF, so it's perfect for photography and video and stuff like that. I love this. She doesn't like it. Mm, but. So I love this. <clears throat> do you have foundation? I do. Something like that. Okay, so the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. This doesn't have SPS. In <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> The MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. This doesn't have SPF in it either, I don't think. But I love these two colors because I kind of use it as foundation. It's NC45 and NC50. And it's, I mean, it's kind of like what she described with the face and body. It, um, it doesn't have SPF. And except for it, it's kind of like medium to full coverage, I guess. But it's awesome. Once you put it on, it doesn't move. And when you take pictures, you know, the flash doesn't. Um, make it look all bright, so I just love it. And she has tons uh, of this crap everywhere, just <laughs> FYI. So she's really, really likes it. I'm telling you, this, <laughs> this is going in my kit because it's awesome and it's, it's a, a nice range of colors, so you can mix just about any guy's color. So go get your some. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna put this for she says it. The okay. Benai, do you have Benai powder? Out? I don't have really? it out here, but I love it. The Benai powder in banana is my favorite. I love yes. when I really want. That to do that really highlighting and or when I'm really tired and I can conceal and then this brightens up the under eyes so I don't look as rough but <clears throat> love this I love it too but I don't have it here but I love it okay the next thing in my makeup selection is MAC prep and prime eyelash primer because I have no lashes really. So I don't always wanna put on false lashes. So in order to rock my real lashes with mascara, I have to have a primer. So this is what it looks like. And it's just awesome. I mean, I, I have to have it. I so, haven't tried that before. I love okay. it, it's awesome. MAC Blush and Pinch Me, it's a sheer tone blush. As you guys can see, I hit pan on it, which is absolutely rare for me because I have so many different blushes and face powders and stuff like that but I love this because it doesn't have a real shimmer to it so it's more of a natural um, type of thing but it's like a peachy pink that's cute and for brown skin it gives you like the per I'm wearing it now it gives you like the perfect natural glow and you can wear it lightly like how I have it on now or you can you know build it up for a more intense look but yeah pinch me in Mac it's so pretty the camera doesn't give it justice <clears throat> I need to try that Okay, so what I have next is my L'Oreal True Match Powder. I use this in almost every video I've done and almost every time I wear makeup. What highlighter do you have on? Whisper of Guilt. Oh, pretty Ever since you did that video <clears throat> with me, I, I use it all the time now. So yeah, I love that. But this L'Oreal True Match Powder is awesome, you guys. It comes in different shades. It um, It's super blendable. It, it just sets and just looks like your skin. I have it on now. And um, I love it. I got it for my daughter, too. I tell everybody about it, and everybody that tries it loves it. Okay, MAC Paint Pot in Groundwork. And I use this paint pot for so many different looks, including color looks. But it looks like this, and a lot of people use the, what color is that? Um, painterly. Painterly for a natural tone, and that's not a natural. Not for us. For us. So, <laughs> no. pay, uh, to me, Groundwork matches much better it's great for neutral looks and sometimes i use it under um my color looks like i said and i love max paint pots because if i know 
that it's not like going to be a 12 hour thing i use this as my base without a primer and i'm good to go no creasing no smudging no nothing and <clears throat> do i have something else i think i have one more thing okay and i have two makeup brushes okay so <clears throat> after this i'm good carmex y'all got to have the carmex because my lips always stay dry <laughs> and I don't wear makeup all the time so when you I don't know when you wear lipstick it's like you always have to have something on your lips so this Carmex right here I know I was sleeping on this for a long time but I'm glad I know about it now awesome I have two makeup brushes and they're not clean but the first one is by Coastal Scents and it's a stippling brush but it's not as big as your regular stippling brushes as you can see and I absolutely love this to apply my highlighter to my skin because it picks up just the right amount of product and it's the perfect size so it doesn't go everywhere where it's not supposed to go and then the other thing is my real technique brush I love this and I need to go buy a couple of more it's their what is it blush brush but it just picks up the right amount of products and I think it's because it's the way it's made if you look at it the brushes itself are different sizes throughout it almost similar to the whole theory of a stippling brush and I love it yeah that's keeper <clears throat> oh I have one more thing you have two more things no, I see no. a lippy no 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 that's just what I have okay, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but uh, it's the Urban Decay All Nighter and I absolutely love this for setting my makeup. I use this all the time because it literally, it really, really works. Like, really works. My makeup doesn't go anywhere. I noticed that I don't have as much smudging on people's, well, I don't have any smudging on people's clothes and stuff with this. And it sets it nicely, like really natural. Like you put your powder on and you put this on and it takes away that powdery look and gives it more of a more natural appearance. And it's by Skin Denavia and I heard all of their setting, um, you know what's by Urban Decay, but Scandinavia makes it. And I heard that all of their um, finishing sprays are absolutely wonderful. I may have to try <clears throat> And that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And check out my girl's channel if you haven't been there. Um, show your love. Show your support. CK001. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>